Look at that. Whoa. It's cute. I can hear you like playing with the water. Seeing all the gold pop up is really exciting. Hey yo, it's Chris, aka Rufo Tris, and today we're finally getting in, getting into some pay dirt. And so this one is a uh, gold and gems bag from it says Gizmos Pay Dirt, but it was uh, LynchMining.com. And so today I'm gonna mostly sort out through the dry stuff, see what kind of gems are supposedly in here, and then I may or may not pan it out this evening. I might do it tomorrow. We'll see. But let's get into it. So what I'm going to be using today is a classifier set with little interchangeable meshes that I got from LXR and a small 3D printed gold pan from Nabity Designs, Holly Nabity, and uh, yeah, check them out over there. I'll try and remember to include some links in the description. And then I've got this little gold pan here, my snuffer bottle, a couple tweezers, of course, the pay dirt. Got a couple little uh, bins here that I maybe use one of these to put the gems in, whatever gemstones we pull out. This is a mug, a free mug that came with my pay dirt. Uh, kind of cool. I gotta I put a couple baggies just to have, maybe put some of the gems in, but yeah, a little extra goodie that came for a promo they were doing. And then, oops. Okay, so then I'll have some bins here to put my water in when we get to that part of the panning, but that'll be later. For now, I'm gonna try and sort out some of the gems. So because this bag doesn't have very much large material in it, I'm going to start with just the smallest mesh one, but it didn't seem like a lot was coming out, and it seemed to be clogging up. All the little holes there just totally filled up, but when I started tapping it, I noticed it worked better. So I eventually transitioned from shaking to tapping it, found it worked a lot better, and uh, yeah. Anyway, let's just get into it.
expected. Um, maybe even actually a little bit more. Just a bit of peridot and amethyst. The amethyst isn't a bad piece either. But it's actually a couple nice pieces of peridot there. That one could make a nice facet. It's got some good color play in it. Look at that, whoa. So each one of the cups weighs 24 grams. So I guess what I can actually do. So I'll zero it out with a cup. So the larger mesh, we've got 81 grams. And of the smaller mesh, we've got 386 grams. So, uh, Place your bets. What do you think? <laughs> no actual bets, but what's your guess? How much gold do you think will be in each, given that we saw the two pretty good pieces in there already? Okay, so a little update. I did that in the evening. All the stuff you just saw was the night before. It's now the next day. I went and worked a little DoorDash this morning and I'm um, getting ready to do the lapidary lounge with Tyler, but before we do the lounge, I'm gonna try and hurry and finish panning all this out. But what I did do last night was actually went through all the large mesh, and I did not get that on camera. But I sat here and went through the large mesh stuff, and I did find four little pieces of gold here. Let's see. All right, so what you're gonna see there is one big piece of gold, three little pieces of gold, and something else I pulled out just to look at under the microscope, but it's not gold. But all of that was about 0.127. So already we're actually a little more than I thought this bag might contain. So I'm a little excited to see what's in all of this that we still have to pan out. I'm gonna get to it, put in a little music, we'll speed on through. You're not gonna watch this in real time. And uh, yeah, we'll check out the results. See you on the other side. All right, so I ended up panning all of the larger grit stuff off of camera, and there was nothing more than those four pieces. Um, I was watching Lapidary Dave, and so I didn't really record while I did that real quick. I didn't think there was going to be anything in it, so we're just going to skip right on up to the small stuff where we know there's going to be some little pieces at least. So, yeah, let's get into that.
So I panned most of the dirt and we've got four pieces of gold from the bigger stuff there and the rest of the gold in here. But we've still got about a third, uh, about a, maybe a quarter of the original dirt. I kind of realized something while panning and noticing just how much black sand was building up. I never pulled out any magnetics on this. And usually that's something we can do to make it easier. But I had not done it with this. And it does seem there's a fair bit of magnetics in there. So the gold was drying out in this little tray and uh, slid down right here. It's pretty much all right there, but get to pick that out of the towel and find the one or two pieces that went down in there and hope I get it all. Oops. So here you could hear Whitney playing Zelda in the background, so I had it muted. But I was actually pleasantly surprised. I got a fair bit more gold from this bag than I expected. And this video was done over a month ago. It took me a while to get out and I prioritized some other things. But look at that. 0 0.203. That is like a very pleasant surprise. So let's look a little closer under my digital microscope. And you can see the really cool and unique characteristics of some of these pieces. Some seem to be not that far removed from like maybe some host. Because... They aren't very rounded and got some jagged edges, but that big one is very rounded. But some of those look like some pretty fresh gold. Alrighty, so point two is not bad. I'm gonna put it in this little jar and potentially add up all our pay dirts together into this one little jar. Maybe separate them by types and do a jar from each person because I've got a bunch from LXR I'm going to get into soon here. But that's going to be it for today's little jar. I guess for fun, we'll look up what a 0.2 grams worth of gold is currently on the gold calculator. And we'll show that here. And as you can see on the left is April 8th when I panned the bag of gold and the value was actually a little higher than at 1310, where now it's only worth 1270, 1271 at the current gold rate. Interesting. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next one. I might even be giving a piece of this gold away, so if you're watching, make sure to comment on all of my videos.